Hi everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video on q 4 wine q 4 wine is an um, application for KDE that helps you install Windows applications and manage your Windows applications which you install in Wine. And let's just get started. So here we start q 4 wine q 4 wine um, will be available in your uh, distribution repositories especially if you're running a KDE distribution I'm running Arc Linux here and it's in uh, the Arc user repositories this is the first run wizard here I usually just accept defaults that was a welcome page this is some basic info here are the wine paths and uh, here are some other utilities if you need to change settings I don't really um, here's some other console settings network settings if you need to do a proxy for your windows applications mounting application settings like uh, sudo fuse and stuff like that and that's about it it opens up So Q4 wine page which we don't want to see right now and this is your basic Q4 wine window here you'll notice different tabs notice a file menu here which is not much the tools basically selects the different tabs and um, that's about it let's go through the tabs now here the tabs uh, shows the programs it's called programs and it's uh, in q4 when you install your windows applications in different sandboxes so each application has its sort of own windows installation so that you, one application does not affect another application when you're running in wine so you have different sandboxes called prefixes in processes here all your running wine processes will show up here this is for setting up your different prefixes this is a tab for managing your, your prefixes let's skip that one for now that's this is log this is where all your logs go and this is the wine app db it's pretty nice so let's say if i were to type in office here and search it goes out to the wine app db and brings in all different kind of uh, info about various uh, office applications so Microsoft Office running in Windows 2003 mode and different versions of wine how good they are it, it's pretty good you know if you just need to get some quick info without opening a browser and going to the website actually so I was going to do a demo of uh, WinZip which is a very good uh, archive manager for Windows it's open source and it's free so I just thought I'd do a demo of that one. So let's go first and create a prefix for WinZip, or for 7-Zip, sorry, should I say WinZip earlier, 7-Zip. So we create a path for 7-Zip, let's create a new folder, and we call it 7-Zip, very creative. There, it names the prefix 7-Zip, if you need to configure a CD or a DVD you can do that here if you need to change some wine settings if you're using a different wine version or different libraries you can set that up over here for each prefix you can set up uh, differently and let's see here so now we've created our prefix then we go up to set up the prefix here we have set up uh, create fake drive I like to do this one because it creates uh, all the Windows files that it needs for the prefix in its own folder. So here you can go and ahead and if you need to create a Windows user and you know those Windows settings you can choose your version of Windows which you want to emulate. You can you can change the way uh, the Windows application looks, the colors. Let's try this out. Use current QT4 theme so you will use your uh, KDE color scheme. Let's go ahead and do that. If you need to change some uh, direct 3D settings, you can do that here. Video card settings. This is important for games and stuff like that. 
OpenGL, direct input for joysticks and stuff like that. X11 drivers, you can change some settings here. Here, what I like, uh, what I usually use here is uh, if I have an ISO image that I've mounted onto a folder and I want the Windows application to recognize it as a CD, as a CD ROM, then I go here, add, choose a drive letter, navigate to the folder, and then select CD ROM here. So then, once you do that, then you click OK. The Windows application running in Wine will see that folder as a CD. So that's great if you're installing games or something from an ISO image. Okay, and that's done for. Then you can configure your paths like for your documents, folders, your video, your pictures. Pretty straightforward. And finish that. I will go up and uh, set up the directory. It's going to try and install um, Gecko for uh, rendering HTML in your Windows applications. Gecko is actually the uh, HTML engine for Firefox, so so that's also free and open source. Let's see what it's doing here. So this is the prefix folder, which I told it to create. You can see it's created a DOS devices folder, a, a C drive folder, some configurations, program files, users. If you go into Windows, you'll see all the Windows files that you'd normally see in a Windows machine. I think that should be done. Yes, there we go. So now it has created our fake drive. Now what I do is I go into our prefix which we just created, click on system and explorer. Double click on explorer, it opens up. Okay. Double click on Explorer, it opens up uh, kind of like Windows Explorer. If you had your uh, image uh, configured as a DVD or a folder configured as a DVD, you'd see a DVD icon or a CD icon here. So now we navigate to our installer file, which I saved on desktop for 7-zip. Here we go. Double click on that just the normal Windows installation process finish it finish the installation and that's it if you go to C drive you can run it from here from program files 7-zip and it's 7-zip file manager you can see that 7-zip and you see the highlight is green just like in our KDE applications. That's cool. Okay. And uh, it also installs it also installs a shortcut here. Let me show you just a second. You go to local applications wine program seven zip. You see, there's a an application. Uh, there's a dot desktop file here. If you double click that, it opens 7-zip. This should be detected by your menu. Uh, let's see if it is detected. Ah, uh, there we go. So that's what is showing up there. So 7-zip now shows up in your menu. And uh, there's another thing. If you want to do, you can come here, right click on your prefix add new oh, oops. Where is it over here add new it gives you this um, dialog so you can go here takes you directly to your C drive you go select uh, your executable it not, should not be that one it should be this one and it uh, fills out the rest for you. Click OK. And there we have 7 zip file manager. If you double click here now, opens it up for you. Brilliant. So that's Q for Wine.
in a nutshell. Brilliant little app, especially for KDE users. And uh, enjoy it. See ya.